Hey, how's it going guys? Welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an unboxing and a review on this new Some Gem Vintage Lighter Insert that I got off of Amazon. Um, and the main reason why I got this uh, lighter insert is so that I can use it on my EDC Zippo lighter. So if you haven't seen that video yet, I highly recommend you go check it out. I'll be linking it at the top of this video. Uh, but let's pretty much get into it. So this insert is a Chinese insert, if I'm not mistaken. It is Chinese, so it isn't USA made. Um, and it also, the material is a corrosion resistant zinc alloy. So it isn't copper, but a zinc alloy. And let's just pop this thing open. So here it is. And honestly, it feels really, really durable. It feels like a tough insert, you know? Um, and the main reason why I got it was because of the style that it had. I like this little um, wheel as well as the top cover that it, it shuts the, the wick. So as you can see, it opens the whole cover um, and it's all around this little wheel, which is pretty cool. Um, and also it just looks like it'll retain the liquid a lot longer than the Zippo inserts just because of the gaskets that they claim they have. Well, they don't claim, they do have. Um, as you can see, it's has all these gaskets and it's just essentially a fully sealed lighter insert which is pretty cool uh but let's pretty much get into this bottom piece and see what we're working with so i'm gonna get a little uh screwdriver and turn this knob okay that's the little spring that's the flint right there we open this right here, this little door. And this is essentially where you're gonna be filling up with your lighter fluid. Um, but let's remove this. And this is what I really like about this particular lighter and why I bought it. One, it's way cheaper. Uh, but two is all the gaskets that it has. So it's full with gaskets everywhere from, everything from, you know, where the flint goes, there's a gasket to where you do the refueling. There's a gasket right here as well. And even on the whole piece that shuts this closed, there's a gasket as well. So you know nothing will ever spill out. Now straight off the bat, something that I'm definitely noticing is that there's not a lot of cotton in here. It's actually pretty empty and that's not gonna be good especially if you're trying to fill this up and really pack it with lighter fluid, it, it won't work, you know? There's not enough cotton in here. So they definitely skimped out on that. But we're gonna get some tweezers and we're gonna see what's going on. I'm gonna set this insert just like if it would have been a, a Zippo insert. So exactly the same, you would grab the cotton with some tweezers and just remove it we're gonna reposition this whole thing again the right way well the way that zippo recommends another one and the third one so these are really really big pieces of cotton so this is definitely recommended if you want your zippo to be working properly or i mean not your zippo if you want your insert to be working properly you definitely need to do these steps and make sure you don't lose these gaskets because i just pulled one off there it goes and actually i'll just keep this here just so i don't lose it all right so now what you're gonna want to do when setting this up obviously it doesn't have enough coins so i actually went ahead and purchased uh replacements off of amazon and these are actual zippo cotton balls for the Zippo inserts. So make sure you, you don't just get regular cotton, make sure you buy the actual lighter insert cotton balls. So I'll be leaving a link to the Zippo website where you can get these in the description below. 
So I'm gonna use these accordingly, see, try to fill this up the right way. So first thing that you're gonna wanna do is straighten out the wick. You want the wick fully straight. So now that the wick is completely straight, make sure that you give enough material in the exterior. So over here, you want enough material to burn. All right, that seems like a good amount. So what you're gonna wanna do is grab two pieces of cotton and then stuff them right on the either side of the wick. So if you have the wick like this, you want to stuff one piece of cotton on one side, the other one on the other. And then that way you don't lose or you don't have air pockets pretty much around the wick. So that's what I'm gonna try to do in here. Grab one of these cotton balls and just stuff it all the way to the bottom. And if you want, you can probably just break one in half. I mean, these are huge, the ones that it came with. So I'll just, just break this one in half right here. And I'm gonna stuff this right next to the wick. It's perfect. Now I'm gonna move the wig to one side and then stuff the other piece on the other side of that wick. Just to, like I said, to really make sure that you fill up any air pocket that it might have. All right, there we go. Now what I'm gonna do with this small piece is try to push it on the other side of this metal where the flint goes and try to, try to stick it on that edge if you need to cut it down to a smaller piece then you can do that as well there we go very nice and now pretty much the whole base i don't know if you can see it but pretty much the whole base inside is completely filled with uh cotton and that's what we want we don't want air pockets in the beginning when the way that this came it had a lot of air pockets the cotton wasn't placed right they just pretty much stuff a little bit of cotton and just push it in you want to make sure that you set it up the right way once you have it and this is the right way you want to fill up both sides of the cotton of the wick with cotton and then you want to stick some extra cotton in the ex in the little corner in this side that way you really pack it well i'm just going to straighten the wick over here a little bit and that's fine yep all right and so the rest is pretty much pretty easy you're just gonna want to fill up like, both sides of the wig so i'm gonna put a piece of cotton on this side and then you're gonna want to push the wig over that cotton that you just laid down so you're gonna want to pretty much create like a snake type of uh movement so you put a wick a uh, piece of cotton on one side push the wick that way and create that snake kind of style there you go you see now the wick is on this side because this is where i put a piece of cotton on this on this edge and now i push the wick that way then i'm gonna fill it up with some more wick more in the middle i mean with some more cotton right here in the middle there we go and then like i said now we're gonna grab the wick and fold it over that cotton that piece of cotton there we go and like i said in the beginning it just didn't come with enough cotton in here to really be able to use it the right way so i have some zippo cotton right here and we're gonna use this as well so what I want to do now is grab a little piece of cotton and I'm going to stuff this little edge, this little corner again, because it seems a little empty. Stuff it down. I'm going to do that again with the other piece. And I've seen a lot of people have bad experiences with their uh, inserts. And all it is is that your cotton and wick aren't set up the right way. It sucks that even Zippo doesn't set up their cotton the right way. But it just makes sense, you know, you're not they're not gonna spend money, extra money on having the perfectly set up insert. Alright, so 
this little edge area is really really packed now i'm comfortable with that all right and then we're just gonna start putting another this is probably the last one the last piece of cotton over the wick and honestly it's pretty perfect now this is how you want to have your zip your insert i know that the wick will consistently have lighter fluid because of the snake kind of style that we made it into so it curves around the cotton and every time it curves there's a new piece of cotton that's gonna pretty much be filled with lighter fluid now this is really really packed i'm very very happy with it now that we have this put these cotton balls aside and put everything together so here's the little gasket that goes over the little this little flint screw kind of uh thing and then you're gonna add the flint back inside there we go and then you can put this uh bottom piece in and it's definitely gonna be a lot tighter than usual you see that now all that cotton is is literally squeezed against the this little bracket and so it'll really absorb all the lighter fluid that you put in here and then finally we're gonna want to put this flint holder back on close it shut okay and then we're pretty much ready to fill this up with some lighter fluid. So let me go get it. All right, here we have my lighter fluid and we're just gonna fill it up. Okay. So I just filled it about 10 seconds worth of lighter fluid, but since it's brand new, brand new cotton, I'm gonna let it kind of soak up and then I'm gonna try to fill it up again. Normally I would just do eight seconds, uh, but that's for something that I've already been using. So we're gonna go ahead and put some more. All right, that should be enough for now. And I really, really like how packed it is with cotton now, as opposed to how it came. This is definitely way better. So I highly recommend you Completely rearrange the cotton, add some more cotton, and rearrange the wick as well in the inside before you even use it. I might even want to add a little more lighter fluid just in case. And I'll just let it sit here like this for about 30 seconds. And so here's my EDC Zippo lighter that I've been using for over a year. This is the Tumbled Brass. Zippo lighter and I've actually really really enjoyed it, but I think it's time to replace the insert So now that this has been here soaking up I'm going to shut this little door and We should be ready So let's try it out remove this Zippo one add this brand new one Wow, fits really, really nice, really snug. Wow, yep, this is definitely an upgrade. Oh yeah. The only thing that you have to remember is that you have to shut it twice. So you have to close that little latch. It's definitely really cool. Yeah, I like it. If you're interested in this Some Gem Zippo lighter insert, I'll definitely be linking it in the description so you can go check it out yourself. If you like this video or found it helpful, make sure you give this video a thumbs up and consider following. Thanks.